There are many lies, misconceptions, and stupidities in the Czech immigration system. And I could actually do another video just about that, and I will probably do it. But for today, I want to focus on one of the biggest lies the government tells you. And one of the biggest lies the government tells you about Czech visas is the approval times, the processing times of Czech visas. Uh, I will go through the official processing times in a second. I will tell you what they are. And then I will also tell you what is the real story and why is it so. So let's go through that first from like, let's go first through the official times. Okay. So I'll give you some examples. For example, if you're just extending your visa, meaning that you have a valid visa in the Czech Republic, you want to extend it. The official approval time for that is two weeks, 14 days. Then if you're an EU citizen, then and you're applying for the registration certificate the ministry officially has 30 days uh, if you're a family member of an eu citizen or if you are applying for a permanent residence permit as a non-eu citizen the ministry has 60 days to make the decision the same for student visas or student residence permits 60 days family reunification uh, 60 to 90 uh, or 270 in case of the residence permit uh, employee card 60 to 90 uh, business visa 900 to 120 those are the official times and actually like it would be nice if the ministry was really approving uh, visas in those times because they're kind of reasonable but that's not what happens what happens is that it usually takes way way longer so I will tell you about the, each of them the real story and also why it is so I will leave the why it is so part at the end uh, so let's go through the, the real numbers so you know because many of you comment on my channel if you go through any of my videos there is always a question like it's been like 58 days the ministry has 60 days should I expect the result in two, two days well no and I wanted to do a video about this so here I am so let's say for the visa extension if you're extending a visa officially two weeks in real life uh, I would say at least a month can be slightly faster in some cases but that they would approve it within two weeks that happens very very rarely uh probably as rarely as you see unicorns every week so usually visa extension about a month if you're applying for the registration 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 certificate as an eu citizen uh officially they have 30 days one thing here is that sometimes they can actually approve it right away on the spot when you go to the ministry in person you give them the documents there is always one person at the branch who can approve it right away so sometimes it can be done right away but in most cases they don't stick to 30 days either usually it's like five six weeks seven weeks so it's not that much of a delay but it's still late uh, student visas uh, 60 days officially in real life the ministry officially claims that the student visas are approved within 45 days on average. But that probably means that they approve 100 visas in two days and then the rest the normal like uh, three, four months later. Because really student visas, yeah, sometimes it's really right around the 60 days that they kind of, it looks like they wait for the very last moment. But often what I see, what I hear, is uh, 90 days 120 days longer i will explain why at the end of the video or towards the end of the video so stick with me i will also give you tips on how to deal with that but just that, that will be later so now uh let's say employee card 60 to 90 days officially i must say that for the employee card it often works out like that 60 to 90 days they often stick to it not always it can also take way longer but generally 60 to 90 days employee card is fine uh business visa 90 to 120 days maybe in 50 percent of cases if you're an english teacher then yes that will be approved the shortest we've had was two weeks uh but if you're if your story is not teaching english you have a different business plan it can be a year or longer you need to get your trade license renewed three times because they they just are clueless <laughs> Uh, the only type of visa which is actually approved in time, uh, in most cases, at least from our experience, is the family reunification. 
The family reunification residence permit for sure, because the ministry officially has 270 days and they usually approve it way, way faster, like uh, 60 to 90 days. But from our experience, uh, from our uh, Filipino clients and Indian clients, when you're bringing your kids, the decision is usually very, very fast. It can be like one to two months. Uh, if you're bringing spouses, uh, it can be also like around two, three months. So it's pretty swift because the Czech Republic kind of owners family. So if you want to bring a family and you're already living here legally, then it usually works out pretty swiftly. But that's the only time when I know that they really stick to the times they say. And why is it so maybe? Because now I've, I've gone through all the different like uh, timelines, but why is it so? First thing is, of course, this is something you can influence and that's how well the application is prepared, okay? If you give them all the documents you, they need in the correct form, uh, translated, apostille, super legalization, everything, you give them full package, you give them maybe a bit more, especially if you're applying as a student or a business uh, person, then give, even if you give them more documents, you're getting higher chances that the approval, come, uh, approval will come faster. If you give them the documents which are not 100% correct, or you just give them everything they need, but nothing extra, it might delay the time. But that's one thing you can influence. There are things you cannot influence though. And that's, for example, the embassy where you apply for the visa or the residence permit. Because the thing is that embassies don't make any decisions for long-term visas or long-term residence permits. So embassies only take the documents from you and do the interview. And then they ship all the documents physically to the Czech Republic. And the decision is made in the Czech Republic. So that means uh, that sometimes the documents are maybe four, five, six weeks just traveling before someone in the Czech Republic actually starts reviewing them. So many times uh, it happens that people write to me, hey, we have this application number, but the system still shows like uh, not found. How is it possible? What's going on? Nothing's going on. The file is just somewhere and no one started uh, looking at it because uh, you, it will only appear in the system as in process uh, when someone actually starts reviewing it, okay? And that doesn't happen until the documents are physically delivered, then given to the branch, then given to the manager, and then, then the manager gives them to the concrete decision maker. And that in many cases, like uh, if you apply in India, in Australia, in the US, it can take a couple of weeks for the documents just to arrive. Uh, and of course, the other thing is that the ministry is generally understaffed uh, because the job is very hard and the pay is very, very low. So no one really wants to work there. Uh, so that's another thing that they don't have too many people uh, to work with because otherwise all the different types, maybe permanent residency might be a bit different uh, because it's a completely game changer. So they need to check everything more detail, but all the other types of visas you usually have up to like seven documents maybe, and two of them are like photos and application form. So there is nothing to check, you know, the physical work could be like a day or two. Maybe you sometimes need to call somewhere or send an email and wait for a reply, uh, but that's it, you know? So all the visas could be decided within two days. If, if I give them space, it could be one to two weeks, any type of visa, that's so simple to, to check everything but doesn't happen and that's uh, one of the reasons is that just the ministry doesn't have many people working there so that's one thing and then if you're already in the situation that you've been waiting too long for your visa decision uh, and you want to do something about that uh, then you definitely check this video where i describe uh, the four things you can do uh, if you're in this situation